Okay, so I need to... Of course it's not. I think this only maps out when you go to the bench, it seems like. Oops. Well, there goes my souls. Soul heart. Whatever it's called. I don't think they specified. Yeah, this... There we go. This is dirt mouth. Let me see if there's anything down in this hole. There is. We should be able to buy a bunch of map stuff now. And uh, Sly, I think, should be here, right? What's this way? A stone drawer with a simple lock. I should be able to uh, lockpick that. I'm a spry little bug boy. Uh, I guess before I go and talk to her again. Yeah, there we go. That shop's open. Right, and then I can equip this. Used by shamans to draw more soul from the world around them. Increases the amount of soul gain when striking an enemy with a nail. That seems helpful. Okay, so it notches is how much you can equip based on... Okay, gotcha. Oh, what a turn. Our shop keeps come home. Just wandered back in. I'd hope for grand tales of his time below, but he seems to remember almost nothing. Maybe it was all too much for him? If you are interested in his wares, watch out. He drives a hard bargain, that one. No competition, that's the problem. It's bad for the market. Not that he's complaining. My understanding of Hollow Nest can be a little vague, but below these leafy caverns is a fungal grove, once home to peaceful creatures, not quite bug and not quite plant. Sounds almost worth a visit, no? Well, there's a downside. The dreadful stench! A noxious odor fills the place. I feel like that's where I should be heading. I think that's where the uh, roly-poly guy was blocking the path. Hi. Ah, hello. I knew, I knew we'd meet again. How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here, selling old trinkets to travelers like yourself. If you're planning a trip below, I have several items that may improve your chance of survival. I like whatever noise that was he made. My masks are shard. Tilting merely a fragment of something larger, still maybe you can make some use of it. I'm gonna guess that's health. Vet soul fragment. Piece of a soul vessel, you know, those ghastly looking orb things. I don't really like the aura about it, but it's quite rare, so I'll have to chain charge you a high price. Does that just give me more soul? Simple key. Well, that's gonna be expensive, but we know where that goes to simple lock. Simply a simple key, it will fit a variety of locks, which is useful if you like to poke around in places you don't belong. A variety, more than... Huh. And then he sells these things. Do you find yourself leaving a lot of Geo behind as you hurry through the caverns? This charm will make sure that any loose change finds its way back to you. Magnet? Okay. Solvart shell. Life in Hollow Nest can be tough, always taking hits and getting knocked around. This charm grants you more time to recover after taking damage. Useful if you need to escape from a tight spot. Alright, more recovery time. I don't know why I'm just basically repeating what the thing says. Lumafly Lantern. What's more important, a light to guide your way? Oh, I need that for that uh, hallway that I saw. Or a friend who will stay by your side. Why not both? Take this bright little fellow as your companion and he'll light your way through the thickest darkness. And a rancid egg! I found this under the counter. Some creature must have laid it here while I was stuck down in the ruins. I suppose you could buy it? I won't miss its sour odor. Let's not for now. Uh, I'm gonna say we probably want to get those map things as soon as possible. Just to make things easier. Especially the compass. <sighs> Bafanada. Bafanada. Let's not even look at it. We're buying that. Item purchased. Uh, and then we can get, like, four of these. So, I'm gonna say bench. Stag beetle. I guess it's not technically a stag beetle, just stag, whatever. Hot sp I don't know how helpful hot spring is. Yeah, I guess we'll buy those. I don't know what the cocoons are quite yet, so I guess I'll ignore that. 
Now their map will be full. Oop, probably should have actually looked. Yeah, look, we know where the bench is, the stag beetle, shops. Everything's turning out well. We don't know where I am quite yet, though. Oh, right, touchpad. Oh! Oh, the compass costs a... Oh. I need to maybe actually sit at the bench. Alright, well, that fills up our notches. Now it shows where I am. Oh, I like the way it bobs while you're walking like this. Okay. Forgotten Crossroads is where I'm exploring. And this doesn't really tell me how many fragments I would need. And we got this, City Crest. Stone slab bearing the crest of the Hollow Nest capital city. Has an insert on the back that would fit into a slot. When resting at a bench or elsewhere, the quill can be used to update the map with newly... Yeah, okay, so that, yeah, that fills it out when you go to benches. And then this is how many charms there are. Okay, okay, okay. Seems fun. Let's head back down. So maybe let's just head the path that had the roly-poly guy. Which I think was like the second one down. Yeah, this one. Because of all the foliage. Alright, fingers crossed that he's not here. Nice. Perfect. And this is the gas. So yeah, that I guess Elder Bug can kind of help you just figure out where you might want to head. This is a pretty place. And I don't have a map, right? Oh, well, right now I do. I wonder... Yeah, that might be because I poked my head in. Could have swore the, uh... Dotted out zone would be where I would want to go. But maybe this old... Maybe this will uh, lead to a dead end. But I figured, like, hey, we kind of have the ability to unlock. I want to kill the birds. Oh, look at the little grass boy. We uh, have the ability to unlock this path, so it has to be something, right? Yeah. All right, you gas up. And then you gas up after death. I see the grass boy down there. Oh, and there's... Alright. A uh, wall grass boy. Okay, nothing... Do not have a map of this area. Can't even look. Do you explode? It doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like there's anything down there either. Oh, we got that gasish boy. Right. Don't have to worry too much about them. They seem easy enough to deal with. Need as much of that geo as I can get. I got kind of confused. Like, the background foliage here made this look like it was more of a slope so I was like I don't know if that's a platform that's definitely on me I just started overthinking it a bit too much there secret I saw the weird spikes on the ground can I hit that I can I almost I almost stepped right into that but it seems like it gives you some time to uh, react Alright, so a lot of hidden stuff around here. Spooky hidden monsters. Ready to spook you. And nothing else around here. Okay. I would like a map. I hate not having maps. This game is terrible because it doesn't give you maps. Gives you a bench, though. That's nice. So you can't even... Use your quill here. Huh. 
Huh. It's interesting. So you still have to buy like the map base from Map Boy. Some weird bugs that way. Hello? Hello, I know you, you're Hollow Knight 2. Oh, that's progress, I think, so let's maybe see if we can explore any farther. Yeah, so that's the thing, right? So I mentioned, like, oh, wow, this game was made by three people, plus the other person. Uh, and that is crazy. Because, like, they, they made this game, and, like, on its own, this is supposed to be a great game. And so far, I'm really enjoying it, so I'm gonna say, yeah, great game. 10 out of 10. Uh, because this was, like, a Kickstarter thing, they had, like, their extended goals, which I think probably was what led to DLC. And, like, those... Oh, okay, there's a shooter. I thought you were gonna... Not, not a shooter. He's, like, a darter. I thought he was gonna shoot, but instead he darted. So, like, they, they had their, like, um... What, what are they called? The, like... Backer goals... To like extra goals right and I'm at least that's what I'm guessing is where the DLCs came from I can drop those guys down huh mm, that was kind of a mistake it's fine oh so they they released all those DLCs but not like as DLCs they it was just free like once they're out they're out you can get it even for people that didn't back the game, which is crazy, and that's great. It's especially crazy, again, considering there are such a small team. I right, nothing this way. That they would do that. So I believe that character there, I think her name's Hornet, was gonna be like another addition to this, another DLC. Oh, God, I thought you were gonna come down at me. I don't. Alright, I guess. You activate where you are going to go. Right, I need to figure that out. Does this fine do anything? It does. Okay. Well, I got to maybe watch out for that. So I think Hornet was like playing as Hornet was supposed to be another like addition. I don't know if it was supposed to be like a story in the area. I, I don't know. Ooh, can I? I can. Haha. -ha. Uh... They ended up going way too far with it and decided, you know what, maybe we should just make this into a, a second Hollow Knight game. And you know what, they need to because it is crazy how much content this game has. Oh, wait. Yeah, map boy. Give me map. Isn't this a contrast from the crossroads? Such a humid, lively place. The roads twist and turn in the most wonderful ways. I've done my best to chart the area ahead, though I must admit some of the area's inhabitants proved quite a nuisance. Give me map. Thank you. Uh, so we didn't really have much of a uh, multiple paths we could have taken, but again, it shows us a location that we would want to go, so that's helpful. Yeah, I figured Spikes would be down here. So, yeah, like... Just, this game's supposed to have so much content. And it was pretty... I think it's like $15, right? Which is a... Pretty good... Where am I right now? Oh, right, this... Okay, okay, I see now. I see, I get it. I know where I am. But yeah, $15 for how much content this is supposed to have pretty good steal so like they they really need it to make a, a new game kind of like the same with shovel knight like that became i wonder if i can get yeah both two birds one stone yeah uh it, it kind of ended up the same as like with shovel knight where they're making so much content for that at least shovel knight they decided like you know what 
m we maybe should make a, uh, make the DLC, like, their own packs, eventually. If you had a, if you had bought an, uh, Shovel Knight, though, before... Hello? The Hunter, thanks. Tiny Squib, you approach fearless. Are you a hunter like me? Do you feel the urge inside to stalk, to kill, to understand? Then take it, my journal. It will aid you. At first, the text may seem difficult to discern, but I learned Hunter will come to understand its words. Venture the depths of this land and slay its beasts. Prove yourself worthy to bear the mark of Hunter. Thank you? I thought I was going to face a boss for a minute. Hunter's journal. Uh, it's just in their journal. Okay. Defeat enemies to add new entries. So it's like, uh... Oh, wait, that was it, wasn't it? Uh, oh, I see. So this tells you a little bit about it, and then the more you kill, the more information you get. Defeat 27 more to decipher the hunters. Okay, gotcha. Two more. So I guess there's more Grus Mothers. I appreciate that that's the image. You see it puckering up and letting out the baby. Uh. Alright, false knight is what we fought there. A maggot driven mad by a strange force. Inhabits stolen armored shell. Inhabits a stolen armored shell. I feel like, they, like these bosses probably are important. Weak creatures love to steal the strength of others. They are lives are brief and fearful and they yearn to have the power to dominate those who have dominated them i don't know was there only like two of these enemies is that why it <laughs> is filled out uh well happy and lumpy and malaria freeze inside they curl up and hide from the world what do they think of in there wrapped up inside of themselves more carefree times perhaps I don't know if these are really important to read. Echoes of a previous life defeat it to retake its power and become whole. Each of us leaves an imprint of something when we die, a stain in the world. I don't know how much longer this kingdom can bear the weight of so many past lives. Yo. Little Squab, you may have overcome a few creatures, but you are only just beginning. Don't delay. Descend into the belly of this world and hunt down the life you find. Cool. Alright, same. Alright, so, uh, back to Shovel Knight. They were initially, like, you have base game Shovel Knight, and then Plague Knight was just a, uh, free add-on, eventually, on that as well. Uh, they realized that they were working themselves thin there, and said, like, yo, we gotta release this as, like, its own thing. Grub. Hello, friend. Save the grub. Uh, I feel like, well, I thought it would be good and then it hit the wall. I don't think there's anything else for me to really explore in here, except for over here. No way, that's where I came from. And then that looks like that just, yeah, I think I came from that way before. Okay, we're doing good. We met some friends. We got our map. Come back, I love you. Oh, and then it tells you when you... Oh, I screwed that up. Bad timing on my behalf. All right, two hits. And you guys don't seem too hard to kill. I would like you to be dead, though, so I don't have to worry about your projectiles. Thank you. Alright. Oh! Didn't see that spike trap that time. Let's kill. Good kill. Gimme all them geos. I feel like this way is probably progress, right? Was there anything I missed over here? I feel like pro- Oh, there was a- 
A hole? Maybe stay away from the stink boy. Uh. A secret thing. Those who stray from the White King's road shall face the law of Un. Mm. Okay. Thank you. You don't have anything else to say? Nope. Just a weird thing. Uh, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no to that path. I changed my mind. Didn't want to go that way. Ooh, almost took a hit there. Kind of almost took a hit there, too. Playing a little brazen here. Playing like I don't got a care in the world. Nothing this way. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's just continue. Some more stink juice. Hello! Okay. Okay. There we go. Uh, like, halfway through that, I realized I should probably use the uh, Vengeful Spirit thing. But it was too late. I was... I was too committed to just slashing it with my nail. Nothing over here. Yeah, alright. Yeah, that does it. That's probably what they want it from me. Hornet, please. Um, don't know what's up here, but we'll take a look, I guess. Uh, don't know. I'm straying a bit too much here. That's just a lot of stuff that I don't know if I can handle. Seems like it's worth it. There's like a specific item over there. I guess not specific. It's like one of those trinkets like I, uh, I grabbed the... Uh, what are they called? The badges? Charms. Oh, look, Vengeful Spirit shows up on that. That's nice. I, I might be able to do it, but I don't... Like, I, that's always the problem, right? You don't know what you're capable of quite yet. Like, imagine if I ran into... Shit. Shit. My toughest enemy yet. Imagine if I ran into that roly-poly guy before before I got Vengeful Spirit, and I would have been like, I don't know what to do. I, I don't even know where I am right now. I'm like going up in a completely different direction. Which seems like a big mistake. Because there was a, like, there's a bench over on that other side. Yeah, I feel like this was wrong. All right, let's go up. All 
I don't know if this is like a boss room. No, okay, we're good. I'm afraid of boss rooms. I kind of... I, I don't know. I don't know how much... Uh, how much of my... Heart juice I want to keep around. Not heart juice. What am I... Geo. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. And how much I should just be... Oh, this might lead me back to bench, actually. Yeah, this will lead me to where bench is. I probably shouldn't have fallen so brazenly. A toll machine with the symbol of a bench. Yes. Thank you, please. I'm desperate. Give me 